Hey everyone. So, uh, on a Tuesday, uh, there was a little announcement video, um, well, about half an hour, but still, um, about what was coming next in Battle for Azeroth, the next up major update. Uh, I believe it's 8.1, at least... You know everything that's in there. It's definitely not a point five update. It's definitely an eight point, you know, something update. Um, definitely eight point one. But uh, we are getting more of the war campaign, of course. Uh, war uh, inclusions. Uh, they're calling it. It's kind of like the um, the invasions from from Legion. Where basically in certain zones, um, every now and then, uh, the Horde or the Alliance, wh whichever continent you're on, uh, will invade and, you know, you have to fight them off and I'm sure there'll be like a small scenario at the end, uh, for max level players and, um, any, any alts that have, you know, that have world quests opened up will show up for them so another way to level up <laughs> while um, you're leveling alt <laughs> if you have mains that have world quests open up um, speaking of world quests more world quests will be added to the pool um, new storylines uh, that well continuing storylines really um, you know the Follow Sour Fang and what uh, Tyrande has been up to since her homeland was, you know, burnt. And um, Vulgen as well. Well, finding out more about uh, where his soul might be. Uh, they did enter, they're going to introduce um, armor for, uh, heritage armor for dwarfs and blood elves. So, as long as you're a max level, you know, uh, dwarf or a blood elf, you'll, when this goes live, you'll get, have a quest that you can do to unlock, um, your heritage armor. Uh, I don't think, I don't think they really showed it off, um, or, no, I think they showed, showed a screenshot of what, or at least concept of what the, um, dwarf one looks like. I didn't see the, um, blood elf one, but, uh, when this hits PGR, I'm sure, sure it will be day on my mind. Uh, a new Warfront will be added, uh, Darkshore, uh, the Alliance will be trying to take back Darkshore from, from the Horde, so when this goes live, the Alliance will start this time and be able to go through the process of, you know, actually doing the Warfront and then the Horde will have the benefits of already having it, so whatever world boss is there, the rares, the quests, you know, all that stuff. Two new islands will be added, uh, Jimdal and Havenwood. Havenwood is actually a uh, abandoned uh, Gundarian uh, island. So, you know, of course they will act just like, you know, the ones that we currently have. Different mobs will spawn and they're gonna try to mix things up a little bit more than they already have with um, island expeditions so that you know, they are more repeatable, I guess, slightly better rewards. I, I, I don't really understand that still, but whatever. Um, that's, for those of us that do like Island Expeditions, that's an exciting thing. And, of course, we will be getting a new raid. This will be the second raid in um, Battle for Azeroth. It is, and I guess they're not committed to this name yet, but... Siege of Zul'jazar, which is going to be the first faction kind of faction uh, Pacific raid. So, depending on whether you're a Horde or Alliance, the raid will be different. Um, the Alliance will be invading uh, Zul'jazar and from like the dock area and making their way up to Pyramid. And then fighting um, the king of the uh, the Zandalari trolls, while the horde will be starting 
roughly in the in the north area, making their way to the king, the troll king, to help defend him, and then making their way down, defending uh, Zulthazar. Uh, I guess in total there are nine, uh, nine bosses um, split between Horde and Alliance, and once you've actually uh, done the raid for your side, you can then talk to a person afterwards to do the opposite faction side. So you will be able to do the whole raid, um, whether you're Horde or Alliance. But um, you have to clear your your version first, then you can talk to someone that then you can do the other faction's side. So it's very interesting, and it's something some people have predicted. Something that I, I know <laughs> I've I'm thinking maybe they might do too, and I was kind of hoping they would do this. Uh, I wasn't sure how they were going to be able to do it. And, I mean, it's yet to be seen, so we'll find out when raid testing starts for this, which is probably going to be a while yet. I mean, I, I wouldn't, you know, expect to see this patch until, like, after BlizzCon. Um, but yeah, it, it, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see this. <laughs> um, there is actually, actually going to be a third raid, like a mini raid. Um, kind of like, uh, uh, what was it? Try, um, what is it called? So there will also be a mini raid, uh, just like Trial of Valor from Legion. Uh, this will be a two boss raid. It is called Crucible of Storms. Um, basically, uh, a little bit of all god, a little bit of naga stuff, basically. I don't think this will be the raid that we run into, uh, Ajara in, but it may lead into that raid. Uh, we also are getting, you know, regular system update stuff, type stuff, class tuning, Azerite, new Azerite traits, profession, uh, new profession recipes. Um, Normal Guard is going to be added as a pet dungeon, so if you do that kind of stuff, yeah, there's something new for you. Um, Champions of Azeroth uh, will be account wide. So once you hit max level on an alt, if you're already exalted, or actually, I think it's revered as, as far as you can go, uh, as far as those adding traits or adding um, item levels to your Heart of Azeroth goes. So um, once you hit max level, you'll just be able to talk to Magni and get all that on your alt. Uh, uh, some, some faction-based transmog restrictions are gonna be, be removed. Um, it was kind of unclear what exactly they were talking about with that. Um, and some reps will be account-wide as well, other than, um, Champions of Azeroth. So, they said that they wanted to have the PTR by Friday and right now as I'm recording it, it is Friday and PTR is up. So I will probably have a little bit more in-depth type of video of what's going on in PTR um, when stuff actually starts happening. I mean this is the first day so there's a little knowable things um, that I've been seeing like from Wildhead. Like I, I guess the um, map for Talondor and Eastern Kingdoms has gotten an update. And it looks a lot more prettier and more, more up to date to like what we have in um, Legion and in uh, Battle for Azeroth. So yeah, uh, I can't wait for this. Um, I'm really excited for that new raid. Actually, that sounds more exciting to me than um, than what we're currently in right now. But yeah, let me know what you're looking forward to in the comments below. And until next time, bye. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back with.
when you're older 